Mr Hunt, could you explain why the findings from the Cygnus pandemic exercise in 2016 were not acted on? Which department would have been responsible for addressing the findings and how should the structure of government be changed so that any such exercise in future be acted on? Well, it's a, it's a fascinating question, Pam, and I think uh, I'll give you the answer that you want, which is that I was the Secretary of State responsible for that operation. Uh, it was a, a pandemic flu exercise, and uh, it was my department that was uh, responsible as well. Um, and it was a very big, comprehensive uh, pandemic preparation exercise uh, took place over three days, a huge amount of work. It didn't get any publicity because it was a a planning exercise, but nor did we uh, avoid any publicity over it. All the findings uh, from that exercise actually were leaked to The Guardian a few months ago. Um, and indeed, all the recommendations made to ministers on the basis of that exercise were implemented. Um, and you don't need to take my word for it, the, the Permanent Secretary at the Department of Health and Social Care confirmed that to the, the Public Accounts Committee at the House of Commons. So we did what the recommendations asked us to do. But what is fascinating looking back is that there wasn't a single recommendation to increase the PPE stockpile and not a single recommendation to increase our testing capacity. And that was because it was, a, a, it was an exercise based on pandemic flu. And you know, what I have to take responsibility for as someone who was health secretary for nearly six years is that we had a, a kind of group think uh, while I was health secretary, before I was health secretary, after I stopped being health secretary, that basically said pandemic equals influenza. And what we had this time, what we have this time, is a, a SARS, MERS-like virus, which requires a very different response, the most striking element of which is the need to carry on testing large numbers so that you continue to isolate people as quickly as possible as a way of containing the virus, which is you, you can't do in flu because after a certain point, it just spreads so quickly. Uh, it's just not possible to do that. And I think we can see now that the countries that were the most effective in tackling coronavirus were countries that followed the, the SARS, uh, MERS playbook, particularly countries that had experience of dealing with SARS, like South Korea, Singapore, places like Taiwan and Hong Kong. And um, that really was why at the start of January, you can see from the, the SAGE, the Government Advisory Committee minutes, that it was part of the strategy to stop testing after a certain point. And that it was clear they, they write down in, in those minutes that it's the right thing to discontinue testing, which we actually stopped on March the 12th, because we were following that flu playbook. Um, and I'm sure that will be one of the biggest lessons that comes out of the, the independent inquiry that the Prime Minister has announced there's going to be.